Hey, and welcome to day two of the seven day ballet workout challenge. Seven days of workouts that are going to help strengthen your body, but at the same time work on your lines, your posture, and the flowiness of all your movements. So if you're ready, we're gonna be working on our abs and our core today. And if you're ready, grab a mat and we'll get right into it. Starting off in a nice easy pose, we're just gonna take a side movement to the side and then go right away to the other side. So adding movement here first to warm up our obliques. And one more time. And now we're just gonna hold on this side. Doesn't matter which side, because we're gonna be doing both. So really lengthen your side body, hold your head up. And release, and let's just go side to side one more time. And to the other side. And to the other side, good. One more. And now let's just hold it on the other side. Feel like a nice line is going through your hips all the way to your fingertips. And just breathe. And now just release, bring your knees together, and we're just gonna come right onto our bum. We're gonna work on our lower abs, but first let's just add a little stretch here. So inhale, exhale, round out your back and hold under your knees, really rounding out the spine. And then inhale, arch, exhale, rounding it out. Inhale up, exhale, rounding out your back. And coming back to center, inhale, exhale, round it out. Feel that nice stretch in your spine. And coming back to center, let's inhale, reach our arms forward. And we're just gonna find our C curve. So just coming to a reverse crunch, like so. And then inhale, center, exhale as you lower back. Really bringing those shoulders down. And just find that engagement in your lower abs, bringing those ribs closer to your belly button. Try not to do all the work in your hip flexors. Of course, you're gonna feel it a little bit, but we just don't want the main focus to be on our hip flexors. And back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, center. Exhale back and forward and back. And last one. And let's hold it here. And now we're just going to add an arm movement. So bringing one arm to the top and one to the side and switch it. So adding a little twist here as we are going up and to the side with our arms. Holding that nice C curve the entire time, trying not to let go. Good. And now let's just hold on this side and we're just gonna come up and down with the arms, still staying in that C curve. So just the arms are moving here, keeping that nice twist. Beautiful. And now let's just switch it side to side again. So going to the other side and then the other side. Still holding that C curve, find that engagement. If you can't hold the engagement, it's too much for you, release and then just come back. So, Cause it's really important to keep this engagement. And now hold on the other side after this one. And now just come up and down with the arms 10 times. And four, five, six, keep that C curve, hold those abs. Good, and come back to center, inhale, exhale, come all the way down. And we're gonna bring our feet and our heels together, making a diamond shape with our knees, so opening up those hips. And we're just gonna bring our arms into first position. Of course, if your neck really hurts when you do crunches, you can bring your hands behind your head. 
So inhale, bring your arms into first, engage your abs, and we're gonna crunch at a diagonal to the right side. So crunch to the right, come back to center, crunch to center, back, and now crunch at a diagonal to the left, and down. And we go to the right again, down, center, down, and to the left. Always inhaling at center and exhaling as you come up. Trying to bring that belly button to the spine each time you crunch up. Once again, if your neck hurts, just bring your hands behind your head. Good. And one more time. Center. Diagonal to the left. And now we're going to take full circle. So inhale, exhale, circle around. Inhale, exhale, engaging those abs every time you crunch up. And one more, and around. And now just release your arms, lift your legs up, keeping them in that diamond shape. Bring your arms to the sides. We lift our body up and we just go to one side and then the other. So crunching to the side, using our obliques this time, but still engaging our abs. So belly button to the spine. You can bring your hands behind your head, of course. And we're going for 20 here. You can add a little flick with the hands if you'd like. Keep going, and center, release, bring your knees to your chest, hold. You can shake your head side to side. And let's just come back to center and bring our legs into that diamond shape again. So feet and heels together, lifting those heels off of the mat. Bring your arms into first, and this time we start at the other side. So inhale, exhale, diagonal left. Inhale, center. Inhale, other side. Inhale, exhale, center. Inhale, exhale, diagonal. Good, and keep going. And up, down, up, down keep breathing don't lose your breath and center and to the right down and now we go for circles after this one and diagonal and circle time so let's go inhale exhale around and around and three four and five, last one, good. Bring your legs back up, keeping them in that diamond shape, arms to the sides, and let's just go for those side crunches, one side and then the other. Always engaging those abs, belly button to the spine. If you need to bring your hands behind your head, please do, it's still beneficial if you do it like that. And breathe, breathe breathe and release bring your knees to the chest and just turn your head side to side to release any tension in your neck and now just come back to center and we're going to extend our legs and we're first just going to engage our abs and just get used to crossing our legs very quickly. So let's just start to cross the legs, like so. And now we're going to slowly bring them down. So really engaging your abs here all at the same time and coming back up. So inhale at center, exhale as you come up. Keep that belly button to the spine. You can bring your hands under your bum if you feel like your back is arching too much here. And down. And back up. Pointing your toes, stretching your knees. This is also really good for your inner thighs. And back up. If you'd like to add a little bit more difficulty, you can always bring your hands behind your head and lift your upper body here but totally optional. Just listen to your body here. And back up. And 
and down. And now we're just gonna hold it down and keep crossing the legs. So cross, 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 still holding the legs down, engaging those abs, don't let your back arch. Good. Keep your legs together and slowly bring them up. Bend your knees, give them a good hug. Catch your breath. You can rock side to side if you need to. And we're just gonna take a few rolling like a ball exercises. So get your momentum, inhale and exhale. Come all the way up, try to balance. Round out your back, come back and up. Inhale as you go back, exhale as you hold. And back, and up, and last one. And now let's hold it here. And to add a little more difficulty, we're gonna bring our arms into fifth position. This is optional. And let's hold here, keep those abs engaged, keep the feet lifted off of the mat. Beautiful. Let's release the hands and we're just going to take a quick little stretch before we continue. So just come around into your child's pose. Inhale, exhale as you come down into the hips and just hold here. You can add a nice rock side to side if that feels good for you or just hold here. Catching your breath, releasing any tension. Inhale, and let's come to our all fours. Exhale, we're gonna come into a plank pose and we're gonna finish off this workout with a bang. So just come into that plank, trying not to stick your bum in the air. We're gonna start off with our right side. So we're gonna bring that knee to the opposite elbow, passe and stretch. Passe, opposite elbow to knee, passe, stretch. And we're gonna do this 10 times. So this is very intense to finish off this workout, but just keep breathing. And elbow to knee, passe, stretch. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going, we're almost finished with the side. And elbow to knee, stretch. Passe, elbow, passe, stretch. Good. Beautiful, and just come down to your knees, and we'll take a quick little break here in our child's pose. So just taking a quick breather before we do the other side. It's our last exercise, and then we're finished. And now just inhale, come to your all fours position. Exhale, we're gonna come into that plank and do the other side. So hips are under, inhale, we're gonna bring that knee, exhale to the elbow, passe, stretch. And elbow to knee, passe, stretch. And exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, shoulders are in the same line as the wrists. Keep those hips under, belly button to the spine, and elbow to knee, passe, stretch. And stretch, good, almost there. You guys are doing awesome, keep going. And stretch, passe to the knee. And passe, stretch, and finish. Beautiful, everybody. Just come to your child's pose and let's just breathe it out and stretch it out. Release everything in your arms and your back. And now just inhale, exhale. Let's drop our hips down and come to our cobra pose. Keeping our shoulders down, nice long neck. Stretching out those abs. And just release and we are finished everybody. Thank you for joining me on day two. I will see you all tomorrow for day three.